Hello, future gardeners. Today, we're gonna learn all about mint. Mint is definitely one of my favorite herbs to consume, but it can definitely be a little bit tricky to get a handle on in the garden, but I've got some tips for you and we're gonna dive into all of that. In this chapter, I'm gonna teach you all about how to grow, harvest, and maintain one of my favorite herbs, mint. When you are considering planting mint, and when you're ready to plant mint, you actually have a lot of different varieties. There's apple mint, pineapple mint, mojito mint. Some of the standard ones that we know are peppermint, spearmint. There's also chocolate mint that smells like a peppermint patty. And today, I'm actually gonna plant two different varieties, mojito mint and spearmint. So this is spearmint. The leaf is kind of round and flat. The flavor is It's nice and minty, but it's not really strong, so it's not the kind of mint that's just gonna like, whoo, wake you up. So that's spearmint. And then we also have mojito mint. I know you're wondering, I'm holding mint in my hand. It's already a plant. These are called transplants. So transplants are just smaller version of the plants that you're gonna grow. Mint will actually grow to about a foot wide to about a foot and a half tall. So it's a lot easier to grow mint from transplant than starting it from seed. You'll have a lot more success. The seed takes a lot longer and you can just get mint in 30 days by starting with a transplant instead of waiting for a long amount of time, three, four, five months. So first things first, Let's make sure that before we plant our mint, we have the right amount of sun and we have the right soil matrix so that it can have the nutrients that it needs to grow. Mint is one of the herbs that can actually grow in partial shade. So if you just have morning sun or afternoon sun, mint will do fine. So next onto our soil. Mint needs a loose, nutrient-rich soil uh, in the raised bed, I fill this with mushroom compost. You can also use garden soil or raised bed mix. You can also grow mint in a pot. You can grow mint in the ground, but this is where we have our disclaimer for mint. Mint is a very aggressively growing plant. That means that where you plant mint, it will expand, and it expands by sending rhizomes underneath the soil and mint will eventually just expand and expand and it will pop up all over your garden. So my tip for you in growing mint is to either grow it in a pot or grow it in a raised bed. If you don't want to dedicate a whole raised bed to mint, you can actually bury a pot in the soil and that will help keep mint in this area. We're gonna take your pot, and your pot can be as big as you want if you want a bigger section of mint. You wanna leave about two inches of that pot hanging above the level of the soil. If it's at soil level, those runners would just expand right across the soil. So you wanna leave it high up, backfill the soil around it, and then you'll fill that pot with soil. So that's a great technique for keeping your mint in check if you don't want it to eventually take over, okay? But for right now, we have dedicated this whole bed to mint. We're gonna plant a couple of different varieties and this will be our mint bed. Now it's time to plant. So important things to know when you're planting. We can see that this mint has been in this container for some time. These are roots coming out of the bottom right here. And you want to just kind of squeeze your container a little bit and just sh shake it out of there. All right, so there's a couple of things we can point out about this mint. So what makes mint so aggressive is this main root right here. See these two? These are all the fine roots. So these are the roots it's going to use to get the nutrients out of the soil. But this root right here and that root right there is the root that is gonna expand into the soil. It's gonna send down small roots and then that root will sprout more mint up top. So that is just gonna spread all over this container and mint will eventually fill up this container. So I like to break up this root ball right here, the fine roots. It is okay to break the roots. This plant has lots of roots. When plants are 
in containers for a really long time. They get what is called root bound. So they've hit the edge and then they just start wrapping around. And if you just stick that into the soil the same way, the plant is gonna think that it's still in the container. So opening up that root ball helps it to expand out, all right? And when we plant, we're gonna plant the plant the same depth that it was in the container. You put it in the soil and you firm that soil around it so those roots can get back in contact with the soil, okay? This transplant is in a different type of pot. So the recommendation is that you can plant this pot right in the ground. Don't do it. My experience over the years has been that it takes too long for this pot to break down because this is a pot made from just like compressed paper. This is literally just a paper pot and it will eventually break down, but it doesn't break down fast enough for your plants to get established. So I remove this pot and you see the roots are kind of growing into the pot. Remove that, open up that root a little bit and stick that experiment into the soil the same way. So we've done planting the mint. The next important thing to do is to make sure that we water them in. With the transplants, it's important to get water right at the root and we want that water to go down the full depth. So we want it to be about four to six inches into the soil, right? So water right around the base of the root like that. I like to kind of go all around it and get a heavy soak so that that can saturate down right to the root. Because once you, when you pull a plant out of a pot, it kind of goes into what we call transplant shock and water helps them to get established. That's what plants need. So I just want to get real close at the base so that we get that water deep, deep soak right down into the root. And then we can go to shower, water the plant and the soil. All right, so this is good. I'm going to check, make sure we have got water. It is nice and deep. So now that these are planted and watered in, ongoing water maintenance will just require watering of maybe once to twice a week. We don't want to overwater. We just want to keep the soil just slightly moist. So I've actually planted some mint transplants about two weeks ago on the other side of this container. So let's go in and check in on their progress. This mint is about two weeks old. As you can see, it's about doubled in size. This is the mojito mint. And over here, we have the spearmint. They've grown much taller. And then also, we have a lot of new sprouts and we have the runners, okay? See these guys here? This is how mint starts to expand. So this one has a short runner, but over here, this guy has a a much longer runner. So what happens is these runners will hit the soil and they will root anywhere that it touches and then that mint will continue to grow. So that's how it is able to fill an area and expand really wide very quickly. I'm really happy with how this mint is doing, but we're gonna wait another two weeks because I will like for these to get taller, okay? Because we really only have about two to three inches of actually harvestable mint. And we want it to get taller so that when you harvest, you still have leaves left. So I'll just be giving them a little bit of water and that's all you'll have to do until it's time to harvest in about two more weeks. <music> 30 days later and this mint is looking amazing. I can't wait to start harvesting it. We want nice, vigorous growth so that when we harvest, we still have enough leaves left that will help to regenerate the plant. We're looking at some of these that are a foot tall, about six inches or more, and they are begging to be harvested. The beauty about mint is as you harvest it, it's gonna encourage it to grow more and become more robust. And eventually you won't even be able to see this soil because it will be taken over by all the mint. This mint is looking really good and I can't wait to harvest, so let's get to it.
You just need some scissors and of course, you know, maybe a bowl. So on this mojito mint, I'm gonna harvest these two branches. They look the fullest, they look beautiful, and I'm gonna leave these guys to continue growing. When you're harvesting, be mindful. It is possible to over harvest and cut too much. If you cut too much off and you're cutting it all the way down here, it's gonna take a really long time for that mint to regenerate and to grow back. You wanna leave enough green growth so that they can continue to regenerate. And every time you cut, makes them bushier, it makes them grow bigger, makes them grow fuller. So up from the level of the soil, I'm gonna cut it about right here. So this is... How beautiful is that? Mm. And we can see this mint's a little bit different. It's got the purple stem. This is our spearmint. They've got nice long growth. And so those are the ones that I'm gonna strategically cut. So we've got a nice mint harvest, and I think this is enough for me. Um, it is hot today, so I actually have some ice water. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to just walk through your garden and get you a nice refreshing drink, right? You can actually just pinch the tops. That's another way you can harvest mint. Just pinch the tops. I'll swirl that around, and this is really refreshing on a hot summer day. Mm. <sighs> refreshing. If you're harvesting mint, you know, when it's a little bit cooler, it's great in a hot tea. I love it in hot tea. It gives you boil some fresh water, okay? Take your freshly harvested mint leaves, put it in your teapot, or you can just literally just put it in your mug, pour the hot water over it, let it steep about five minutes. Totally delicious. In this chapter, we learned all about mint and how to take care of it and how to make sure it doesn't take over your garden. You know, mint is really easy. You plant it once and you have it for years to come and you can use it in so many different ways. Cheers to a successful mint harvest.